Hey there, sixth grade, it's Mrs. Bierman here. We're ready to start our new project. And this project is a really cool one. I think you will enjoy it. It is our metal tooling unit. So we're gonna use a piece of shiny aluminum. Um, it's thicker than aluminum foil, but not thick enough so we can't make impressions in it. So it's also called reposé, which is a French term for the same thing. I'm going to call it metal tooling. And what we're going to do for the first step is to find an image that you can use for this project. So your assignment is going to be to find a fish that you find um, interesting in some way. You can extend that to include underwater animals, um, you know, sharks or jellyfish or turtles, if you really want to. I will say that fish tend to have the most detail and provide the most interesting kind of texture and the different areas that you can color in. So I'm gonna just really quickly, I'm sure some of you can do this easily, but I'm gonna quickly share my screen so that you can see um, how I would go about choosing a good image for a metal tooling project. So you're going to just go to Google like you normally do and go to Google Images. If I wanted to type in fish, just plain old fish, you're going to come up with a lot of images, a very realistic fish. And I know I have some awesome artists out there that can definitely take those fish and create a really nice drawing with that. Some of them, like this goldfish here or this lionfish, will have so much detail it will be too small for the metal tooling project. So what I'm going to type in instead is fish cartoon. Um, when you come up with these, these are simpler shapes and simpler lines that you can make bigger and more spread out. So you can go ahead and choose one of those. You could also find, um, if you type in fish outline or a fish template, you will also find some other very simple drawings. So if you look at this goldfish right here, this is actually a very good image to possibly use for this project. Let me see if I can get it to come up um, bigger. Mm, not really, but um, if I used this, your, your, um, your requirement is going to be to make an image that is at least the size of your fist when you put your, when you squeeze your hand together. So you're gonna to wanna to make it big enough so that you can include and incorporate all of those details, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna just look up those kind of things first. If you know you want to do, let's say a jellyfish. I'm gonna do a jellyfish cartoon also. So if I look up a jellyfish cartoon, again, these will provide you with images that have enough detail to add color. So you want to, you don't want to pick something like this pink one here that has so little detail, you won't be able to add any more color to it. Something like this, you know, you have different spaces that you can color with different colors. Something like this that has eyeballs and different tentacles. Those are all good choices where you can incorporate a lot of different colors. Okay. You're also going to need to um, include some sort of background. So under, we'll do under the C cartoon and see what comes up here. So when I look here, I'm looking for some different um, seaweed or coral or other sea creatures or details that you could possibly include in your drawing. Okay. So a very easy way to find a good image for something simple like this is to look up the cartoon version of it. But again, you can look at anything that works for you. If you find a, a realistic fish that you want to do, go for it. Let me just show you what the requirements are going to be really quickly. So when you do your drawing, if you're one of my friends who is completely virtual, you should have picked up um, your supplies and those supplies included this baggie and in the baggie you will find a couple sheets of six by nine paper okay if you're one of my students who is just home for these two weeks on quarantine um, you can just take a regular old piece of computer paper and just fold it in half that half sheet is going to be very close to the type of paper and the size paper that we are going to use for this project. So go ahead and use that. 
Okay, here are your requirements. So when you do your drawing, so here's my fish drawing. When you do your drawing, the first things first, when you close your fist on top of your fish, your fish should not completely disappear. Thankfully, I can still see my fish's tail, my fish's lips and part of its upper flipper there. So that is big enough. The second requirement is to have at least three details. I have seaweed on one side, I've got coral, I've got a starfish, I've got bubbles. So I have at least three details. Okay. The fourth requirement is to make sure everything's big enough. When we go to do our metal tooling, we're going to either use a pointy tool like this or a dull pencil. If you have details that are super teeny and super close together, it's going to make kind of a jumbled mess on your metal. So just keep that in mind. And requirement number I don't know what I'm on, four or five. Please make sure you go off the paper in at least three spaces. Where did I do that? I did that here with my seaweed. I made my seaweed go right off the paper. I made my piece of coral go right off the paper here and my starfish and the sand there go off the bottom of my paper. So I have filled it up. There is not a ton of white space. I am now ready to go. Stay tuned for part number two for this project.